Well, Bob, you were there the other night. It was quite emotional, as you say, in the press box. A few people got carried away, but uh, we're one step closer to safety. I think so. Well, that's half the job done. I think um, Saturday coming up against Fulham, I think we've got to try and finish it off. And I think, as I've said for a long, long time, we had three winnable home games. Portsmouth withdrew. The good news, we didn't get beat. Mm. And then uh, the result against the Borough. And I think we've just got to try and hopefully beat uh, beat Fulham. If not, they at least get a point. Because mm-hmm. who knows what's going to happen to you now and in the season. So I think it was it was a great night. I think it was a nervous night. I've got to say, man, it's a long time since I've seen and uh, had the emotions of uh, when I had all them flags flying and the 51,000 people. Mm. It was just a brought back great memories to me. And the, the hairs in the back of my head were standing out. And then a little bit of tear in the eyes. Well, I just thought it was a fantastic start. And any self respecting professional football who runs out into that stadium and hasn't got an adrenaline going, you know, it's, he shouldn't be wearing the black and white stuff. Fantastic it was. Mm. Well, well I, as pressmen were meant to be uh, impartial, but it was one of them nights where... You were all stood up, yeah, yeah, right, exactly, sure. exactly, it was, it was, it was very difficult to, yeah, yeah. to, to contain your, your emotion on the night, as you say, and uh, we're going to need something similar to that on, on Saturday, I would say. Well, I, don't, I, I think there's one thing we'll be assured of. Yeah. I think if uh, the flags are there and the people come back again, well, they will come back, so I'm sure we'll get the, exactly the same atmosphere again because yeah. uh, it's so important, and I kind of stress that too much, how it is important to footballers when they run out and just see the... You know, it got me going, and I was just commentating. So yeah. I think it's it's a major thing at the fans, and I've got no doubt they will be there again. Fifty-one thousand flags waving, and I think if they can recreate that again, which I'm sure they will, I think it's a great start. Uh-huh. Now I know you'll be kept in touch with what's going on elsewhere. This whole city against Bolton, and uh, do you think that's that's an important thing for, for that? Or do, would you? Well, I think it's one of these things. It doesn't, you know, what what will be will be. You know, I think Alan Shearer was saying, regardless of what goes on anywhere else, we've got to try and win this game. And you know, whatever else is going around you, I think you're concentrating the game. And I'm sure that will be Alan's message to say, look, forget about what's going on. Just make sure we win this match. And well, that's the only message you can really give them because if Hull were to be Bolton, okay, and if we were to beat Fulham, we're still in a battle. It will go to the wire, as we've said for a long, long time. But I think the most important thing is Newcastle get the three points. I think the ideal scenario would be Bolton win and Newcastle win, and then that's uh, that's the job done. Well, more, yeah, I think it is, but you know, that's, that's in an ideal scenario. But how often does that happen? And mm-hmm. I'll tell you, there's always going to be a twist somewhere, mm-hmm. and uh, I don't know what it is. But uh, I think you, you, once you start doing that, you, you go around the head, you go you're uh, nuts, don't you? You've yeah. just got to say we've got to win a game, and that's, that's how, that should be Newcastle United's focus, never mind anybody else. Mm-hmm. And, and for Alan as well, he must be delighted that he's finally got off the, off the mark. Certainly, yeah, but he's, you know, he's obviously done a few things, changed a few things just by reading reports from yourself and other people, he's obviously done some stuff discipline-wise, which probably needed, I think there was a few people there just sort of bombing along, not really concerned about the predicament the club was in, and I think he'll have stressed how important it is to go and give it all, which uh, I thought they did uh, very well. It was an edgy game. A lot of people said Middlesbrough didn't play, or they were terrible. I didn't think they were that bad. I thought Middlesbrough, I tell you what, I was, until he got a second goal, every time they broke, it looked dangerous. The one thing I think both managers should get credit for, and probably it was more or less forced upon them, they both tried to attack. Mm. You know, and I've never seen so many new black and white stripes get in the box for a long, well, certainly not this season. You know, when we got in there, there was people charging into the box, and I thought Viduka, for once, you know, it was for an hour, it was magnificent. I thought he was great, and we know the player is. If we could just keep him playing like that, he takes a bit of beat. And I give him man a match because I thought he was outstanding. Also, those good performances from Stephen Taylor, well, really, and also Bay, I thought he was outstanding as well. Mm-hmm. And I think Alan wound them up because they just, you know, he was overlapping. Taylor was going up for corners, throw-ins. And it was just, uh, Alan must have said, we need three points, we've got to try and win it. And I think we'll see him on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Just on the subject of it, I mean, obviously there's been a lot made of his, his performance. Uh, some people saying, give him a contract now, you know, he's, he's, he's worth keeping. Some people saying, well, he only turns, he only seems to turn on the style when, it's, when his contract's running out, or he only plays well when the sun comes out, basically. Well, I said, you've got a point there. I think if you ask the middle of the supporters, they'll say the same. He, you know, he sort of comes into his own. It's probably been in Australia and he likes the sun. He yeah. comes out, doesn't like the winter. But uh, I don't know what his mind's like, but I've got to say that when he wants to play, he is a good player. Mm-hmm. Pays you play deal, would that be the right? Well, oh, no, that's good, good thing. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but I don't, to be quite honestly, looking at Mark Vidu, he seems so laid back. I don't think, yeah. I don't think he's that bothered about the money. I think no. he just does what he does and... 
he, he seems quite a relaxed guy. Yeah, he could be, well, he could be the toast of the city if he scores a winner on, on Saturday. He certainly will be.